Welcome to the NHK by Tatsuhiko Takimoto. Preface In this world, conspiracies exist. However, there is more than a 99% chance that the plausible sounding conspiracies that you hear about from others are simply delusions or even intentional lies. When you visit a bookstore, the books with titles like The Great Jewish Conspiracy to Ruin the Japanese Economy or the super conspiracy of the CIA that hides their secret pact with aliens are all trivial delusions. Even so, people love conspiracies. Conspiracies. We are hopelessly fascinated by the sound of that word and its bitter spree echo. Consider, for example, the process by which the Jewish conspiracy theory comes to be. The author has multiple terrible complexes and feelings such as why am I poor? Why is my life not more comfortable? Why can I not find a girlfriend? His mind and body constantly are pressured from both within and without. Those pent-up grudges become endless feelings of hatred towards society. They become rage. However, the largest source of rage is his own personal cowardice. He is poor because he lacks the skills with which to earn money. He has no girlfriend because he lacks charisma. But the process of seeing this truth and acknowledging his incompetence requires quite a bit of courage. No human being, regardless of who they might be, wants to look directly at their own shortcomings. At this point, the conspiracy theorist projects his cowardice on the outside world. He creates a fictitious enemy outside of himself. Enemy. My enemy. Society's enemy. Because an enemy conspires to do evil, I cannot find happiness. Because of this conspiracy, I cannot find a girlfriend. That's right! This is all because of the Jews. Because the Jews are scheming away out there. I can't find happiness. Damn you, Jews! I won't forgive you! Truthfully, this kind of thinking also inconveniences Jewish people. All conspiracy theorists need to look a little more closely at reality. Enemies don't exist externally. Evil does not exist externally. One has to assume blame for oneself for being a worthless person. It's definitely not a Jewish conspiracy, nor a CIA conspiracy. And obvious as this might be, it's not an alien conspiracy. Before all else, one needs to keep this fact firmly in mind while living his own life. Even so, a tiny percentage of people actually have stumbled upon a real conspiracy. There is, in fact, one person who witnessed with his own eyes that conspiracy exists this very moment in the most extreme secrecy. Who is this person?